Okay, let's talk with numbers. We started the few numbers of people, doubled in 2000, doubled in 10,000. So now the number of academies are increasing of badminton. The number of athletes are increasing in badminton. The UA national team, or what we say, uh, UAE local grassroots from zero UAE nationals to a very good number and uh, Jafar can get that number with you guys. And we all had few of our members which are very young grassroots athletes go to summer camp for Olympics. It's, it's, it's growing from nothing. That's something. And there wasn't any trace of it. There wasn't any number of it. Now there are numbers and they are increasing. Uh, at this year, we have nine badminton courts, open to public, open to everyone. And there's football, uh, basketball, cricket. All of them are under, under one roof. And uh, badminton been growing in, in the base sports for the past. So he's, he's, Mahmoud is active uh, in, in this and he grad, uh, he's regularly over there doing some online uh, sessions. Maybe you have seen his session yesterday on Shuttle Time Divide was live on Facebook. Uh, if we talk about development, we trained over 700 teachers. We trained over 150 level 1 coaches, more than 30 level 2 coaches. Uh, there, there were like around three or four thousand Emiratis joined the programs within the school. This is an after school activity where they play at least three times a week. Uh, so there is now more than 10,000 people who are, who are playing badminton on a regular basis, more than 60 uh, social clubs, more than 30, you know. Uh, academies, badminton academies. We have more than 40, 40 full-time coaches in Dubai. Apart from the World Super Series Finals, we successfully hosted two international challenge and two junior uh, international, two uh, international para badminton tournament. And we were the first in the world actually to host an air badminton event last, last uh, October. February was the hardest time in the world. March, the time that government entities started saying stop for a while. In March, we were at Dubai. Um, was one of the few uh, videos to show how to play badminton at home. So it was uh, distributed to to the network and social media in the of Dubai. Uh... And in the, in the near future, we are trying to, to also do an online program for the Emiratis kids uh, who are involved with the Shuttle Time Dubai program uh, in the schools. At this stage, everything will be as, at, at a distance. And in May, when we thought of bringing back the sport, you believe that badminton was one of the five pro uh, protocols that have been approved to start going back to sport. So uh, practice hasn't started yet? Oh, started. Oh, oh we are back. <laughs> There's no lack of uh, talents or players. In, uh, I'm talking about the Emiratis. We have thousands of them now playing in the schools. And especially as Mr. Razi rightly said about the females, Actually, the last activity that we did before COVID-19 was a school tournament. And the day one was for the for the girls. And we had 180 girls playing in the school tournament. And a week after was the boys, but we couldn't host the boys because everything by then stopped. But if you look at the numbers, we had 180 girls in the week one, but only 100 boys in the week two. Mm. The girls are around now, the girls' participation in badminton. I'm talking about the local number, Marathi's number. It's around 70, 30, 70 girls and uh, 30 boys, which okay. is not not the case in, in all, the, all the countries.
the biggest plan now uh, from now and long term plans uh, to 2024 is to prepare the player enhance the players level talking about the uh, emirati player the national player his main objective is to prepare them very well that they can compete on the arab level and international level so uh, this is a main objective to focus and establish national teams and develop them in the uae and dubai are still at the participation level and uh, we're still not into high performance so the players are still young and uh, the target is maybe not even 2024 it's longer than that uh, it is maybe 2028 because you know that is relatively new in the UAE and we don't have a high performance players that they can achieve on the international stage uh, so uh, mostly and mainly in, in Dubai and UAE the focus is grow the sport on the participation level and from that we build on you know producing the high performance players so in, in the challenge now uh, is actually establishing a pathway for these kids uh, we have talents uh, badminton is known now in the schools uh, the, the missing part is taking those talent and putting them in a, in a high performance system which means uh, providing good coaches, good facilities, uh, more money for them to participate internationally, uh, camps. Uh, this is all required to move from participation level into high performance. What we wish for is, what we will work for, is to maintain our level. We don't, uh, despite this crisis, we, we, we will come stronger from it and this is what we work for and the objective is to again to host bigger events, uh, enhance the player level, uh, do more development and do things which is very big in the world. This is what we work for. So hope, but hope to, to do, not hope to dream, hope to do. <laughs>